Surely you know by now that you're my lady. Hi everyone, we've got so much request on how to do mini twist and I just thought that I'll show you guys. I've already started doing Bix's hair but we can still show you how we started the process. We're doing rope mini twist and what I did was at the beginning I always start from the back of the hair and move my way up. For the front of the hair, I'm going to decide which way she wants her hair to fall and usually she wants her hair to fall this way. So to do that, I'm going to create a part in her hair and she already has one already going here from the last time when we washed her hair. We actually washed her hair recently and I just put her hair in a um, chunky twist for the day let it stretch and chunky twist because when you are doing um, twists and stuff like that you don't want to do it on completely wet hair because I find that when you do it on comp completely wet hair the twist will tend to shrivel up <laughs> so you want to do it on stretch hair if possible now the other section of our hair that's what I'm just going to be doing my rope twist kind of making a line and rope twisting that way making it a little bit about an inch of a part all the information about products that i'm using will be in the description area below next it's time to start twisting so all you do is just take a little bit of the hair at a time you want to take the hair split it in two and as you turn it when you get to one side you rope you twist that side so i'm twisting this side and i'm just twisting twisting for more detailed explanation about rope twisting click that pop-up that just came up so this is what it looks like you can see so to keep the hair stretch I just take my butterfly clip and just clip that away and that kind of holds the hair and kind of gives it a little bit of weight while I do the rest Without money, I love you with my life, but you don't want to trust your past day cause confusion. Tell me about your problems so we can make a future. So So now we've twisted up the back section and if you see I kind of slanted the back section because I'm going to swoop this side so it's not like all straight down. So you can see the twists they're pretty small but they're really defined really neat looking and that is because we used rope twist instead of just the normal twist. So this is the length of the twist right now on her hair and it's it's really pretty I think it's really pretty you like it yes so far so it's her hair has grown so much you can see how much it has grown so now we're gonna start doing this front section and to do that I'm pretty much gonna do the same method that I'm using to twist that I used to twist the back but this time because sometimes she, not, she might not want to wear her hair slanted this way she might want to wear it you know maybe this way also so the way I'm gonna create my part is I'm gonna have a part where this is gonna be one part and then just giving her options of a way of wearing it so many times I'm also gonna do a part going from the center of her hair so that she can also wear it this way I'm doing a clean path instead of you know the back area I did not use a uh, pattern comb so much because nobody sees the back area but for the front people are going to see the front so i try to make the front as clean of a part as i can and i'm going to try and even make them a little bit you know kind of the length of this one rather than the length of this so you can see the difference in the sizes 
they became thinner as I walked to a more visible point. So this was more visible, these are thinner, but down here you can see they are thicker. So that's another way that you can do to speed up your twisting time because mini twist takes forever to install. So that's a little trick that you can do. Now you can see that I've twisted this area and the sizes are smaller. We're done with the hair and the way that I did it, she could wear her hair on the side going this way and you can see how it looks with it that way or she can decide to take it from the middle of her head. So from the middle of her head, I also created a part that will allow her to wear it like that as a middle part. And in addition, if she decides she wants to wear it going the other way, she also can do that by flipping it the other way and wearing it this way. So going back, can you shake your hair? So it's very loose, it's very free forming. She can decide to accessorize it the way she wants. She doesn't like bows or things like well, that, so. I kind of do. I mean, I like wearing them, but like not at school because I'm always like doing like gym and stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching and that's the end of our video, right? Right. Okay, thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share.